Hi there. Um, I was just thinking about uh, some recent events, and one of the recent events was my mom, um, you know, she does a lot for me. She does a lot of the chores, and she does a lot of the... Um, the, the dishes and she cooks dinner and she does laundry like she does so much and the reason why she does this is because one she loves me tremendously and two she helps me save time and I remember a year or two ago I asked her to cook some curry for um, my 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 in-laws that came to visit and uh, she was making it and she was complaining the whole time she was making it and she said it was hard work and it took a lot of time and she, no one was helping her and she was, it was, it was just a lot. And, uh, and I said, if you don't like doing it, then don't, you know? And, uh, <laughs> and she was so hurt. She was so hurt. She felt like, she said, she felt like someone splashed cold water in her face and slapped her across the face. And she said, the daughter that she loved so much said, if you don't like do it, don't. You know, don't complain about it. Otherwise, don't do it. And she was like, that was so cruel and so mean and so thoughtless. And she was at that moment, I truly did not want to live anymore. I thought there's no reason for me to be around. I'm ready to go. I'm so done. And when she said that, I was shocked. And I was, I thought about it and I realized, and she was all I wanted when I said, and when I was doing, saying those complaints was, all I desired is for you to say, Mom, you know, I know it's hard work, but thank you. Thank you so much for doing this for me because it really means a lot that the in-laws really get to enjoy your food and it makes me look really good. And uh, she goes, that's all I wanted you to say. And my pride uh, was, well, why should I have to say that? Like, why can't she just do stuff and be okay with doing it and not need any appreciation and credit for it? Like, why is that so important? And I recently learned about the philosophy that everything is either love or comes from a place of desire, of a desire to be loved. And so if you see those things, then you can see, okay, like, if everything is love or, and or a desire to be loved, mom had the desire to be loved, right? She desired for me to show some freaking appreciation for her hard work, sweat, and making this delicious curry instead I was like if you don't like doing it then don't like why are you complaining about doing the whole thing I wasn't putting myself in her shoes I wasn't coming from a place of love I was coming from a place of like logical person that wants to fix things you know like if something's unhappy if something stinks then change it right if you don't like doing something why should you complain about doing it but the thing is, it was more complicated than that. She was doing it because of her love for me. She was creating, she was cooking something because of her love for me. She does all these chores and she does, you know, all this help around the house to save me time because she loves me. And that's how she expresses her love. And all that she asks in return is for a desire to be loved. She loves deeply and she desires that I show that I love her. I say something. I tap her on the shoulder. I stop and thank her for for and acknowledge her for her work or acknowledge her for the love that she is giving out to me right love or desire to be loved right it's a two-way traffic street there's this energy flowing back and forth and it was so simple and it was so it was so simple yet it was something I resisted because I was like well it shouldn't be that way why should it be that way so that's my challenge to you next time you run into something that you're, you want to resist, you want to fix, stop first and see, is this a place where there is love or a desire to be loved? Can you put some compassion in it? You know, just like how you love your kids unconditionally, even when they drive you crazy sometimes, you just love them. Like a lot of stuff they do is really cute, right? Because you love them so much. So when you encounter something like maybe a mom that drives you crazy or a husband that drives you crazy or a sister that drives you crazy or a best friend that drives you crazy or a coworker that drives you crazy, sit back for a little bit. You know, put on your hat of compassion and love and see, is this love? Is there a desire to be loved here? How can I exude love? How can I exude compassion here in this situation? And if I did and I put myself in my, their, that, that person's shoes, how would I show that love? How would I show that appreciation? How can I come from a place of love, right? Because if your love manifested, 
which you are, <laughs> it makes the most amount of sense to exude love and show love and show compassion um, because that is one of the highest versions of you. I don't even want to be that daughter that snaps at my mom and tells her, well, stop complaining. If you don't like it, don't do it. Sure, that's a very easy slap band-aid on fix it problem, but that's not the root of the problem. The root of the problem, but the root of the issue, not a problem, is did you give that person love like they requested? Did you give them acknowledgement? Did you give them compassion? <laughs> I guarantee if you look at it from those pair of glasses, from that that pair of binoculars, it's you'll see stuff at a microscopic level. Electron, electronic uh uh microscope <laughs> it's a whole different world down there when you look at stuff with an electronic microscope so here's to you living a soul elevated life and don't forget i have a youtube channel that you can subscribe to as well as a facebook page that you can like follow and set to see me first as well as a website called soulelevatedlife.com and uh, there's plenty of content lots of great stuff to consume and uh, reach out to me if you are looking for a life coach and you're ready for some massive transformations. I'll see you tomorrow.